guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be of this makeup look right here. This is my simple, easy, glam look for an everyday. This is a look basically that I do whenever I only have like 30 minutes to an hour to get ready and I really don't want to be like super, super glammed out. This is just what I do like if I'm like feeling lazy but I still have to wear makeup, you know, and I have to go like somewhere that I still want to look like decent, you know what I mean? This look I've been wearing for the past few weeks and a lot of you have been requesting me to do this makeup look so here I am finally doing it for you guys I'm super excited to show you how I achieve this makeup look so if you want to know how to achieve this makeup look then just please keep on watching for primer I am going to be using the hangover primer from Too Faced Cosmetics I've been using this hangover primer since I got it and I have been completely obsessed with this primer you guys like this primer is no joke it literally keeps your makeup on the entire day so this Too Faced hangover three-in-one setting spray has actually replaced my urban decay all-nighter setting spray which is a big deal also because that is one the one setting spray I've been using for years and the fact that this has replaced it you guys know this is some good shit because I can actually feel my face set throughout the entire day like my makeup does not move with this stuff you guys and the good the cool thing about this hangover three-in-one setting spray is that you can use this before and after you use your makeup and you can also use this as a hydrating mist during the day as well but honestly i just use this before and after my makeup and my makeup stays put the entire day for foundation, I'm going to be using the Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation from Maybelline Cosmetics. This has been my holy grail foundation at the moment. And I'm going to be applying the foundation with this foundation oval brush from this makeup brush set. This is from mymakeupbrushset.com. I will list them down below for you guys just in case you guys are interested in checking them out. For concealers, I'm going to be using two, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair Neutral and the Anastasia Concealer in 1.0. I am first going to go in with the Anastasia Concealer and I'm only going to be applying this all over the entire eye area. You can definitely add less product, but for me, I really like a bright under eye area no matter if I am doing a simple makeup look or a dramatic makeup look. So it's just up to you how bright and how much coverage you guys want and just a little bit on the bridge of the nose i am going to be blending this all out with the concealer brush from that my makeup brush set so now i'm going to use the tarte shape tape and i'm only going to be applying a little bit more of that this is a pretty thick consistency so a little bit of this goes a long way to set underneath the eye area and all over the entire face, I'm going to be using the new Too Faced setting powder. I talked to you guys about this on my last video. I told you guys I was going to keep using this to try it out more. And I have not touched my Laura Mercier powder since then. I'm not saying it has completely replaced it, but I really, really do love this setting powder. It really does stay put the entire... To contour the face really quickly, I'm going to be using this MAC Powder Blush in Blunt and I'm going to be using my Real Techniques Blush brush as well. To warm up my face a little bit more, I'm going to be using this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in Dark Tan and I'm also going to be applying it with the same blush brush. To clean up the under eye area just a little bit more and just to brighten up my t-zone area I'm going to be using this banana powder from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm also going to be using this Morphe E48 to apply it with so for this makeup look I do like to finish my eyeshadow first before I do my brows because the eyeshadow is really really simple to do so I like to just get that out of the way and I am going to be using first the real her first eyeshadow palette and this is how it looks like so the first shadow we're going to be using all over the entire eyelid is this one right here this one is called courageous and I am just going to be applying the eyeshadow with a flat brush so I'm just going to be applying this all over the lid 
Now the eyeshadows we're going to be using all over the crease and to blend out the lid shade we're going to be using Espresso and Havana from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to be using the Morphe M518 blending brush. So I'm going to be grabbing Havana first and I'm just going to be blending this all over the crease in circular motions and I'm going to be blending this all the way in into the inner corner and outer corner and I'm also going to be dragging this out just a little bit now with espresso I'm just going to darken up that crease a little bit more and just kind of give that look a little bit more definition now going back in with courageous from the real her palette I'm going to just be applying this again all over the lid to define that crease a little bit more So for the lower lash line, I'm going to be using the same brush that we used to apply the crease shadows with. I'm just going to be using the leftover product and I'm only going to be smoking now to that old outer corner lash line. Alright, so since we're not going to be doing a super intense eyeliner look for this look, this is supposed to be a really simple, easy makeup look to do. Um, I am going to be applying lashes with this makeup look, so I really just want something to kind of blend in with the lashes. So I'm just going to smoke out and do a eyeshadow liner with this black shadow from the Real Her palette. And I'm going to be using the Sigma Flat Definer brush in E15 to do so. So now we're going to highlight the inner corner. I'm going to be using this crown brush in C513 and I'm also going to be adding Fix Plus to intensify, intensify the pigment from this shadow right here. For mascara, I'm going to be using this Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara and I'm just going to add a coat on my top lashes and a few on my lower lashes all right so for lashes i'm going to be using these from slay lashes these are called guilty and they look like this i look so freaking weird without my eyebrows but we're almost getting there so the last thing for the eyes i'm going to be using this nyx gel liner and i'm only going to line the top lash line just because I feel like that pulls the whole look together. Finally for the brows I'm going to be using the Anastasia Dip Brow in Soft Brown and I'm going to be using the number 14 pencil as well. And to highlight the brow bone, I'm going to go back in with this shadow and this pointed brush. To highlight the face, I'm also going to be using this shadow right here and my Morphe M501 brush. And last but not least, for the lips, I'm going to be using the Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks from Too Faced Cosmetics in Cool Girl and Holy Chic. And the very last step for this makeup look is of course the setting spray my favorite I love this stuff so much seriously so we're just going to apply this all over the entire face all right guys so that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed this simple glam easy makeup look if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. And I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye, guys.